You know, the city of Miami has a lot to offer. Nice weather, beaches, palm trees, a vibrant residence, nonstop nightlife. But you know what else it has? A pretty good basketball team. Welcome into sports. I'm Yao Bonsu. It was game one of the Eastern Conference Finals, and let's just say Miami brought the heat. Miami making its sixth appearance in the Eastern Conference Finals since 2010, the most of any team in that span. Standing in its way are the Boston Celtics, led by that man, Jason Tatum. It was a back-and-forth heavyweight fight in the first half. The Celtics went into the break up eight, but then the Heat blew this game wide open. A 39-14 tilt in the third quarter. And look at this guy, Jimmy G. Buckets. The G stands for Gets. Butler had 27 second-half points, 41 for the game. The Heat cruised to a 118-107 Game 1 victory. Butler spoke on Miami's big third quarter after the game. More than anything, it just shows us what we're capable of whenever we um, worry about getting stops, getting into the open floor, um, getting to the free throw line, all of those good things. Um, it just reminds me that we can do it. I see it on this piece of paper. Um, I lived it, so I expect us to be able to do that every quarter from here on out. Butler makes it five 40-point games in the playoffs this year. Tip-off for Game 2 between Miami and Boston is tomorrow at 8.30. All right, let's stay in the NBA where the Magic will choose first overall in the upcoming draft. Orlando won the number one pick for the fourth time in franchise history, the second most all-time only behind Cleveland. The Magic selected Dwight Howard with the top pick back in 2004. Howard went on to be named All-NBA eight times and pick up three Defensive Player of the Year awards. Here's head coach Jamal Mosley's immediate reaction to the lottery win. I mean, the fans, the, the organization, it's so exciting. It's so, so much to look forward to with this organization, with this group and this fan base. It's going to be special. Oklahoma City and Houston round out the top three. Finally, some history. New collective bargaining agreements are coming for both the men's and women's national soccer teams. The two unions ratified the new CBA earlier today and includes an equal split of World Cup bonuses. It goes into effect two weeks from now on June 1st and ends in 2028. And this all follows the women's national team celebrating a financial settlement between the team and U.S. soccer back in February. That's all in sports. Guys, back to you.